Hi everyone, Brandon here. So we're gonna get straight to the point. We got, we're gonna see how much food we have, how much brood we have, and how many frames of bees we have. So let's get right on to it. Hey y'all, hive number one. Nectar. Third frame out. Nectar. Nectar and pollen. Nectar. Pollen. Nectar. 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 Nah. Empty, empty. I don't know if I need to. Nothing really. A little nectar here. Just a little bit. All right. Top box. All nectar, all pollen. Pretty simple. Let's see what we got going on in the brood nest now. All right, outside frame. Honey, honey, honey. Second outside frame, honey, some beetles, nectar. Third outside frame, got two, three day old larvae in here. Gorgeous. As you see, some cap stuff becoming cap stuff, all larvae here. Frame number four. Oh, yeah. Oh, gorgeous. Absolute gorgeous queen. Love to see that. Fifth frame in. Looks like capped lar or capped. Some capped. A lot of larvae in here. As you can see here, you probably can't see this, but there's two, three day old larvae in here, too. She's just coming back here in the middle of the lay. That's amazing. Wow. Look at that. All right, six frame in. As you see some cap larvae here. Down in there, you can't see it, but there's more larvae in here. So I think this is the fourth frame of larvae. Oh my gosh, yeah. Whole slab here. It's amazing. Look like good nutrition can do for the bees. Great pattern. If the rest of that was drawn out in the middle, she would have laid in that. Six frame in here. Oh my gosh, look at that. More capped. It's hard to see here, but if I get close here for you, you can see the milk, the milk larva at the bottom here. See that? Oh, that's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Every stage on these. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Hard to see, I bet, but scrape some bees out. You can see the milk at the bottom. Oh my god, absolutely gorgeous. I think it's the fifth frame. And you can see the pollen on the outsides. Look at that pollen, pollen band, capped milk larva on the outside. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that's amazing. All right, we got some open cells here. So as you can see, the huge honey band on the outside. Huge, or uh, sorry, huge pollen band on the outside. These are all empty cells here. So what we're going to do is actually stick this in the middle of the brood nest at the bottom or on the outside of the brood nest at the bottom. So that way, if we stick it on the outside, it'll expand the brood nest a little bit. If we stick it right in the middle, that would separate the brood nest. That's not what we want to do this early in the season. So we keep it out here on the outside here. I'm going to check to the last frame here, just make sure she didn't skip a frame. And we found the outside of the brood nest here. Look at that, all pollen. All storing pollen. You can see multiple workers carrying it. I mean, if you look, pollen, pollen, pollen. Pollen over here. Pollen, pollen. Amazing. Look at them collecting that. Oh, yeah. They got plenty. Plenty of pollen. So, as you can see, when you give them unlimited resources like we have, so sugar. All right. So, as you can see here, we gave them unlimited pollen. Gave them uh, sugar syrup that stimulate as nectar. And now you can see here, the brood nest is one, two, three, four, five and a half frames of brood. Now, there are some, most of it's in larva and cat stage. But I, I'm, I'm sure somewhere on the outside here, she's working on expanding the nest with eggs. But everything I saw was two, was two, three old larvae plus. So again, five and it's March six, five and a half frames of in 21 days. We're gonna have at least a whole box of bees 
added on here in less than 21 days. So pollen on the outside. Get, we're going to add extra frames on the outside of the brood nest so she can expand it a little bit. But we don't want to break this up just yet. So watch, we'll add, a, we'll add a frame on the outside so they can expand, and we'll go from there. But that's insane. The extra frame here. All right, so what we're going to do is, here. So what we're going to do is, look at this. It needs drawn out. This is empty on this side. So we established the brood nest is here. So what I'm going to do is move this to the middle, middle of the hive. Okay, center of the brood nest. Oh, I'll drop that. <laughs> I'll drop the frame. So center of the brood nest, then add space on the outside of the brood nest for that sense of expansion. So that way, when they bring pollen in, or if she wants to lay in this, she has an opportunity to expand the brood nest without us separating this core key component, the brood nest together. So, all right, so we showed you this box here, our, one of our strongest hives in the apiary. So what we're going to do is we might show you some highlights of the, another hive here, but as you can see here, stimulating early, and this is Southern Ohio, what that can do for your bees. All right, so in our previous videos, we showed you how to reverse boxes for extremely strong hives. And now I'm going to show you coming out of winter, this was double deep colony, maybe not as been as strong as I thought it was, uh, came out of winter, and it was, it was, it was giant, I'm not going to lie. It was, you know, 12, 15 frames of bees. But now, for some reason, there must have been a cold snap, something here in southern Ohio. Or maybe it's some type of virus I don't know of that they're getting over now. But now you can see there's just two and a half frames of brood and with four or five frames of bees. And you can see the top box over here I took off. There's not a lot going on. So I've showed you videos of reversing boxes, big boxes, where you add, you, know, you can add a box, reverse them so they can build up. And we've showed you the strong colonies. They, they can do that. But now here is where, I mean, they're just not what they were last year at the end of the year. So maybe we took too many bees out. I don't know. But what we're going to show you now is we're actually going to condense them back down. Next 10 days, we're going to get a little cold snap here in Ohio. So we're actually going to give, instead, this is four or five frames of bees. We're going to condense them down with a little bit on top, make six frames of solid bees here for the cold snap. And then we're, in one week, we'll come back and super them back up after two and a half frames of bees have reemerged for a 10 frame box. Right now they just can't handle the space. So it just, it is what it is, but now we'll show you how to condense it down. Okay, little honey here. We'll put this down in here. All right, we're just gonna add the rest of the frames from the top. There's not a lot going on here, but we'll just add the bees and shake them down. So we'll shake the bees back down. We'll make this one, two, three, four. Four frames of bees, we'll make it to about five or six. Then uh, we'll just come back in about 10 days and see how it goes with all these bees hatching. So. You know. Okay. A little bit of nectar, pollen, honey. Oops. Right down we go. That's heavy. Oh, that's good stuff. But as we're looking here, I can just see cat brood, cat brood, cat brood. So we're just going to see that here's the brood nest. It might be an extra frame. We'll just take a quick look here. So, pink comb they're working on. Good. Milk brood, cat. That's a good looking frame. So if it starts right here, that means this frame in is going to be uh, brood. So let's see what they got. Oh my goodness. That's a slab and a half. Oh my lord, look at that. <laughs> we love a good slab of brood. So two frames of bees total here so far. Oh yeah, 
Another half slab there as she starts to lay back in the middle here. Oh, gorgeous. Same thing, all milk. And there's the queen herself. You can see her. We need to go through and mark these queens as we see them. But absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous queen there. And you can see she's working on drone brood down yonder. That's awesome. Sign that they have plenty of everything going on at the moment. She is just laying in every available space that there is on this. Oh my gosh, look at this. Slight blow, look at that. <laughs> Literally from the outside cell to outside cell on here. Now, I'm not sure what's in there, but a little bit of pollen, a little bit of young. But look at that, oh my gosh. Let's check here, oh my gosh, more open. I'd say some uh, three to seven day old larva right here. So this is capped. This is all milk, milk brood larva here. So she's just running around, laying in wherever she can. Look at that. <laughs> that is crazy. More milk larva at the bottom. Very hard to see, but very good. Perfect. Well, we're going to put them back. So as you can tell here, her brood nest is bigger than I thought. So she has one here, two, three, uh, four and a half, and then another half is five. So she's got five frames of brood here. So as you can see, high reversals for the doubles coming out, or the double deeps, is good when you have colonies that stay strong. And as you can see over here, you can just see the amount of bees before I trip. You can just see the amount of bees crawling at the seams. Just look at them. This is at least 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, about 15 frames of bees. So as you can see, strong colony, high reversal, plenty of nutrition, good queens, and as Kim Reynolds likes to say, dead mites. So. <laughs> All right, so for a little bit of background about this one here. So just five days ago, we came in and so two boxes of bees. Five days ago, we came and shook six frames of bees off into our weaker colonies, give them a little bit of a boost. So six days ago, we gave these guys, we took away six frames of bees. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at them and see how they, if they've repopulated themselves. So give it one second here. So we're going to move this forward. Let's just see how they are doing now. And as you can see, so when I came last time, I took six of the top frames off and completely shook everything off. There was no brood. Now you can see here about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and plus the one, two, three, four, five frames. So 12, 13. Anyways, uh, so they've already started to recover with how well they're laying. And that just shows you that when, when you have some stronger colonies, you really need to pull. So wrap from the rich, give the poor early to get those younger, get those, uh, smaller colony queens rolling because this one's recovered quick i mean there's burcomb you can see burcomb here already. i mean it's built already and so that just goes to show you the strong colonies can bounce back quickly if you don't cut them back too much so just wanted to show you guys that real quick so